Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Christian Casas. Well, once again, we are rooting on our Golden Knights like there was Go ever Knights any doubt, go, right? right? Well, the team is back home looking to take a step closer to reaching the Stanley Cup final. Sports director Chris Matthews leads off our Golden Knights coverage from the Fortress tonight. Hey, Chris. How you doing, guys? I'll tell you what, all the talk, of course, in Las Vegas was, hey, is it going to be Robin Leonard or Marc-Andre Fleury in net? Of course, after Game 4, it was Peter DeBoer who was saying that he just gave Fleury a rest in Game 4 and he would go back to Fleury. Well, that looks like it's going to happen here tonight because Marc-Andre Fleury, first off the ice, it was Leonard who hung around for some extra work. So it looks like tonight that Marc-Andre Fleury, the 36-year-old, will get the start here in Game 5, a very important game. Might mention the Knights and the Canadians both traded overtime wins up there in Montreal. Vegas looking for a fast start. Montreal looking for a fast start and a win here in Game 5. Going to be a big one for both teams. Now, the series is all tied at two games apiece. Also, what the Vegas Gold Knights are looking for is some offense from its forwards. Just three goals scored by the forwards in this entire series. Of course, the buzz up in Montreal right now is all about that uh, game four. And Vegas not getting whistled for as many penalties as often as Montreal. Because actually there is a big discrepancy. But according to Knights head coach Peter DeBoer, there is a reason for that. You know, the whole power play penalties narrative that's that's coming out, you know, I, I'm I'm not I'm not buying that. I mean we were the one of the least penalized teams in the league during the regular season and Montreal was one of the most. So, you know, if there's a disparity there because uh, they're, they're calling it looser or tighter, I, I think that disparity, uh, you know, is, is the same uh, as, as it was during the regular season. That's what, that's what we both are. All right. And I'll tell you what else is happening inside the fortress. It's loud right now as they get set for this huge game. But now let's toss it outside where Kevin Martin has been uh, tracking down some fans there on Toshiba Plaza. And Kevin, I'll tell you what, fans are thrilled about game five. Whoever wins this one takes a huge step toward reaching that Stanley Cup final. Well, yeah, thanks, Chris. And exactly with the series tied at two games apiece, it all comes down to a best of three, of course, game five here tonight at the Fortress. And as you mentioned, Golden Knights fans are starting to file in. Didn't take me long to find two huge ones, Renee and Tammy. Renee, starting with you, have you recovered from the thrilling game four? And how are you feeling heading into game five? I'm feeling really excited and I'm still kind of in shock about game four. Watching Panda, he was amazing. He proved everybody wrong. He's he's got it. So I was I'm excited. I love it, and it looks like Flurry will get the start tonight. He was the first goalie off the ice at morning skate. You guys will be in there for Game Five. What are you expecting the atmosphere to be like? Electric magic. Yep, electric. It's just magic in there. I love it. I love it. And can we get some predictions? What are you predicting? The final score, Renee. Game Five here tonight. Uh, four to two, we're gonna win. Four to two, I like it. What about you? I'm taking the win, but I'm too superstitious <laughs> to throw it out a number. Ah, okay. I was born on the 13th, and I will not bet. <laughs> Awesome. Before I let you go, check out their outfits. They, they got the ears. They have the victory flamingo. She even has the purse. I mean, they are decked out here for game five and the bracelets. Of course, we'll continue the coverage all the way up to puck drop at six o'clock. Reporting live outside of T-Mobile Arena, Kevin E. Martin, 8 Sports Now. All right, Kevin E., thank you so much. We'll check back with you a little bit later.